Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? Muzzle Fuzzy here and today I'm bringing you some Call of Duty gameplay commentary. Oh my god, what a surprise. Didn't see that coming, did you? Well, you probably didn't see that I would be posting ghosts just because that would make me a hypocrite, right? I, I don't really like ghosts, so why would I post ghosts? I mean, don't like it, don't play it. That's how it's supposed to go, right? I think whenever a Call of Duty game comes out that I don't particularly enjoy more than the other ones, like say Modern Warfare 3 or Ghosts, um, for a while I try just not to play it and I kind of just abstain and, and play the other Call of Duties, but I always end up finding a way to enjoy it. With Modern Warfare 3, I played Infected, I played All or Nothing, I played all the different, you know, they were basically wager match game types, but they weren't called wager matches. And then in this game, in Ghosts, I actually really enjoy gun game. Look at that, off the spawn, I was looking at the oink, looking at the strippers, and then I completely turned on that guy and got that first pistol kill. So, uh, I, th that was an amazing moment for me. I really had fun getting this gameplay. And when you get right down to it, when you get to the, the nitty gritty of why you play a video game, it really comes down to are you enjoying the experience, are you having fun, and are you playing it the way that you want to play it. And with Gun Game on Ghosts, I, I still had a lot of fun, so I ended up getting a lot of gameplays, and you guys will probably see a bit more ghost gameplay as we move towards Advanced Warfare coming out here in the next three months. And a whole bunch of brand new like updates and news and information has been getting dropped about Advanced Warfare. I'll save those for other videos, but in this video in particular, I just want to talk about the fact that you never really win. And before we get into this, I just want to say I'm not trying to be a guru, I'm not trying to be your parents, I'm not trying to tell you how to live, I'm just giving you guys some personal insight from my own experiences and just trying to talk about uh, something that's been on my mind for a while. Because I, I always get into these philosophical um, commentaries and there's always a few people that are like, ooh, he's a philosophizer now, and it's like, no dude, I've been talking about this kind of stuff for years. It's just, it's what I enjoy making videos about, so... Um, anytime a new idea pops up or some sort of new concept that I want to talk about with you guys, I try to break it down. I try to see what, what I get out of it and what I can share with you guys about it. And uh, that's what I'm going to do today. So I think the first question to ask to open up this can of worms is, what does winning look like to you? Like, what does a great success look like to you in your head? When you think of like a successful person or when you think of like, what would, what would be the ultimate winning at life uh, scenario for you? What would that look like? And would it be a lot of money? Would it be you're just living on a yacht, you're flying helicopters, you're traveling the world? Do you own some giant business? Are you part of a huge corporation? Are you a rock star? Are you a musician? Are you a, a personality, a celebrity? Like what does ultimately winning at life look like to you in your head? And then once you have that idea in your head of like what it would look like if you were ultimately just winning at life, you're living the good life, you got all the money in the world, you don't have to worry about money, you don't have to worry about travel, you can do anything, you can be anything, you can go anywhere. Um, the next question is like what do you do with your free time? What are you going to do? What are you going to do to help make the world a better place? What are you going to do to have impact and influence the people around you? Obviously, these are really difficult questions that you're not going to come up with an answer to right on the fly, and I don't even really know if there is an answer. There's no ultimate solution to all the world's problems. Even with all the money in the world, even with all the fame in the world, all the power in the world, I don't know if that would just give you like some sort of answer to uh, how to use your time, your money, and your energy in the best possible way. Or even if that's what you really want to do. I mean, I'm sure a lot of people become millionaires or billionaires and then they just kind of bail. They just kind of escape and just go live the rest of their life like it's a vacation. And it blows my mind just thinking about the amount of pressure and stress that some of these types of people must go through. Like if you have a billion dollars in the bank, that's so much responsibility to so many different people. You've got all these employees, you've got your friends and family, you've got all these people that are depending on you. And, I mean, you can't just go on an eternal vacation. You can't just leave it all behind and just escape the world. That's not, that's not really an option when you're that kind of person. And just think if you won the lottery tomorrow, say you won like $500 million or some crazy amount, would you even have the faintest idea what to do with any of that money? I know I personally, I have no idea. I know I'm not going to spend it all on myself because that would make me the world's biggest douche. You would be such an asshole if you won a shit ton of money and all you did was spend it on yourself to, to buy yourself a whole bunch of things and... When you think about this type of thing for long enough, the conclusion that I came to was that at the end of the day, nobody really wins. You never really win at life. There is no point you get to where it's like, all right, good game, well played, it's over, you win, everything's golden from here on out. No, every single day you get older, you keep getting older and older and older until eventually you die. That's happened to every single person that's ever lived on this planet as far as we know. 
And when I think about this type of stuff, I'm not necessarily looking at it from a negative, pessimistic point of view. I think it's actually the opposite. I think when you realize that you only have a limited amount of time here to do what you want, you should probably spend it doing things that you actually want to do. You should be motivated, you should be inspired, you should realize that you only have a certain amount of free time and that you're not getting any younger. And uh, that's, that's something to keep in mind. I mean, you should enjoy your youth while you have it. And just like that, even though I barely made any mistakes, I was on my way to a perfect win the entire game. I was 18-5. and five. I still ended up losing. And that's life. But just because I lost one game doesn't mean that the game is over. It doesn't mean that I'm going to stop playing the game. It doesn't mean that I have to give up. You just got to keep going from failure to failure or success to success without losing your enthusiasm. And you got to realize that neither success nor failure is ever really final. It's, it's an ongoing process. So that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys got something out of this video that you can take away from it. If you guys like the video, please drop a like. Check out all my links down below in the description. I would really appreciate it, and I will see you guys next time.